so it is the pdf of the logistic distribution with these two parameters having these limits and our x lies between minus infinity to infinity so now here x random variable belongs to logistic distribution with these two parameters remember that these are just parameters not mean and variance of the logistic distribution the mean and variance of logistic distribution are different Firstly, we will calculate mean of the logistic distribution. After that, we will calculate variance of the logistic distribution. We know that mean is equals to first moment about a region, that is the mu1 dash, which is equals to expectation of x raised to power 1. According to the definition of the expectation, here we write integration of the all values of x. Here we write that term which is inside the expectation. Here we write the PDF of the logistic distribution, which is this one. Now we can see that 1 divided by sigma is a constant term so that's why we write that term outside the integration and we know that in logistic distribution values of our x lies between minus infinity to infinity. Now we will use substitution that is this term is equals to y that is this one. From here we get value for x is equals to this one on differentiating both sides with respect to y we get this term. From here we get the value of dx is equal to sigma multiplied by the dy. You can also differentiate these both sides with respect to x also. We will get the same answer. So now on using these three equations we get our this whole answer. That is at the place of this term we write y because of this equation. At the place of dx we write sigma multiplied by dy because of this equation. At the place of x, we write this value because of this equation. Similarly, at the place of this, we write y again. Next, we can cancel this sigma with this sigma. Now, we can multiply this sigma y with this whole term plus this mu with this whole term so that we get two different integrations. Now you can see that if we multiply sigma y with this whole equation, our sigma is independent of our y random variable. That means sigma is constant term. So we write that term outside the integration. Similarly, if we multiply mu with this whole equation, mu is independent of y random variable. That is means it is the constant term. So we write this mu outside the integration as like this one. Now we can completely see that value for y is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. Here we also have to write x minus mu divided by sigma. Value for dy is dx divided by sigma. That means here we can write dx divided by sigma. And now you can see that this is actually PDF of the logistic distribution. And we know that integration over the whole values of x of the PDF of the every probability distribution is always equals to 1. So that's why this whole term is equals to 1. So here we have only mu multiply by 1. And now in this term, you can see that the value of our exponential is always positive. So leaving this term, we just have to see that whether this term is odd function or even function because we know our this formula in integration that is integration from minus infinity to infinity of this odd function is always equals to zero. You can completely see that y raised to power 1 is odd function. If we have y raised to power 2, then it must be even function. But we have here y raised to power 1, which is odd function. So that means at the place of this whole integration, we have to write 0. So overall answer is only mu. That is, it is the mean of the logistic distribution. Now we will calculate variance of the logistic distribution which in terms of expectations is this and in terms of moments it is equals to mu2 that is the second moment about mean which is equals to these. Now we know that these were our mean that is mean was equals to first moment about region which is equals to expectation of x which we have already calculated. We just have to calculate now second moment about region that is expectation of the x square. So now we will calculate value of expectation of x square then we will put these values here and we will get our variance. So now according to definition of the expectation here we write integration of the whole values of x here we write that term which is inside the expectation here we write the pdf of the logistic distribution which is this one just 1 divided by sigma is our constant term so that's why we write that term outside the integration as like this. 
next we'll use substitution that is this term is equals to y as like this one from here we get value for x is equal to this one now we can differentiate both sides with respect to y we get this answer and from here we get value of dx is equal to sigma multiplied by the dy you can also differentiate these both sides with respect to x also we will get the same answer now we will use these three equations in this term to get this term that means at the place of x where we have to write sigma y plus mu because of this equation at the place of this equation we just write y because of this equation and next because of this equation at the place of dx we write here sigma multiplied by dy sigma will be cancelled out by sigma next we will expand its square that is a plus b square is always equals to a square plus b square plus 2 multiplied by the ab next firstly we will multiply this term with this term to get this different integral then we multiply this term with this term to get this in different integral then we multiply this term with this term to get this different integral since our sigma square is constant so that's why we write it outside the integration similarly mu square is constant similarly 2 mu sigma is constant so that's why we write this term outside the integral now here we have these three different integrals we can firstly completely see that at the place of y we can write here x minus mu divided by sigma here we can also write x minus mu divided by sigma because we have used this substitution earlier at the place of dy we can write dx divided by sigma so then in that case this whole will become pdf of the logistic distribution and we know that integration over the all values of the random variable of every probability distribution pdf is always equals to 1 so that's why this integral will give us only one answer so here we have to write mu square multiplied by 1 next in this integral firstly we can see that our exponential function always gives us positive value so on leaving this term we just have to see that whether this y is odd or even function now obviously y raised to power 1 is our odd function and also in this integral leaving this exponential terms we can see that y square is our even function so now we know this two formula in our integration that is whether if we have even function in the integration we have to write it as like this that is the 2 multiplied by integration from 0 to infinity this term as it is next but if our fx is odd function value of our integration is always equals to 0 that means value of this integral is always equals to 0 so we just left with this term plus mu square we know this is the taylor series expansion on multiplying both sides with respect to z we get this value that is on multiplying this term with z we have to write here z raised to power n minus 1 plus 1 that is only as z raised to power n as like this one next putting z is equal to minus e raised to power minus y in both sides we get this answer so we can see here that minus 1 raised to power n can be written separately as like this just for calculation purpose at the place of n we write here n plus 1 now this is value of this term that is this term that means in this whole equation at the place of this term we can write this value but we can see that these two terms are constant terms because these are independent of y so we have to write these terms outside the integral as like this one now we know this formula in our gamma distribution that is this integral is always equals to gamma n divided by m raised to power n on comparing this equation with this equation we can see that at the place of x random variable we are using y random variable at the place of m here we have n that is value of m is equal to n at the place of n minus 1 here we have 2 that is n minus 1 is equal to 2 that means n is equal to 2 plus 1 that is 3 now we have to use the value of m and n in this formula so we get this as the answer of this whole equation now n can be cancelled out by this that is here we have to write only n square 
next we know that our gamma can be expanded in terms of the factorial as like this that means gamma 3 can be written as 3 minus 1 factorial that means the 2 factorial and answer of 2 factorials is also 2 so that means on multiplying the value of 2 which is the value of gamma 3 with this 2 we have to write 4 here and here we was left with only n square. Now we can expand this summation on putting different value of n in this term. That is firstly we will put n is equal to 0 in this term. We get 1. Then we put n is equal to 1 in whole this term. We get minus 1 divided by 4. Similarly we complete this whole summation. So now we already know this special problem that is pi square divided by 6 can be written as this whole term here we have so on up to. Next we will plus pi square divided by 6 with this term and subtract pi square divided by 6 with this term as like this one. Now here we write the value of pi square divided by 6 that means this one as like this whole term. Now it will be cancelled out by this, similarly it will be cancelled out by this, so on to like this we will left with only this plus this, this plus this. On adding this with this we get minus 2 divided by 4, on adding this with this we get minus 2 divided by 16, so on up to like this. On cutting we get here minus 1 by 2, here we get minus 1 by 8 and we can take common minus 1 by 2 from these terms on taking minus 1 by 2 common here we have to write only 1 here we have to write plus 1 divided by 4 now we can see that this is again expansion of pi square divided by x so at the place of this whole term we have to write only pi square divided by 6 so now on multiplying minus 1 by 2 we get this term on taking LCM we get this term, on cutting we have to write here only pi square divided by 12 as like this one. On cutting 4 with the 12 we get here mu square plus sigma square multiplied by pi square divided by 3 as the answer of our second moment about origin that is expectation of x square. Now we can calculate our variance which is in terms of moments is this and in term of expectation it is equal to this. Now these are mean of the logistic distribution which we have already calculated which was only mu. So here we write mu square. Here we write that value which we have calculated just now. So now on cutting it with it we get this as variance of the logistic distribution.